Yo, yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Product Designer. This is Jimmy and today I'm going to be going over products that are primarily cubed and box shapes. And if you guys don't know yet, as an industrial designer, first they teach us how to sketch and the things that they teach us is how to draw geometric shapes in perspective. And the reason is, is because if you actually take a look at almost every product out there, they're made of these fundamental geometric shapes. And so if we can just learn how to master drawing them, eventually we can modify them you know, change them up in a way to where it turns into a professional, real looking product. So you guys are probably wondering now, Jimmy, how do I modify a cube to make it look professional and look like it's a real product? Well, if we take a look at example at this right here, it's essentially just what I was talking about, a very basic cube. Now, how it's a product is that it has a base, obviously, which is also a cube or a box shape and what gives it functionality is that it has that grill that's right in the front and what that does is it allows air to pass through which makes it a product which makes it a tool for us to use if we take a look at the rear here we can see that it just you know a cable just comes out of it to power the thing so for this example right here let's start off you know easy this is a product that is essentially a fundamental shape a geometric shape so what can we do to this in order to change it up modify it move it away from just the box shape so here's another example. Again, it's just a box shape, but now it's flattened. You know, it's boxes, squares, rectangles, all the same thing. But this one here, how they were able to change it up was add a really simple chamfer. You guys see that bevel edge that goes all the way around? This essentially changes up the shape of the, of the square of the box in order to give it a little bit more character and a little bit more form. So in your notes, guys, just use this as a tool, you know, Tweak number one, add a little bit of bevel, a little bit of chamfer around the edges and be able to move slightly away from the traditional typical box shape. All right, so tweak number two now, let's take a look at this example. So you guys can see there's no bevel on this box. You know, at the end of the day, if you guys take a look at it, it is just a box, a cube shape that's a little bit elongated, right? A rectangle. And so what they have done is really rounded the edges. If you guys take a look at that bottom there, the bottom is super round, the sides are super round, gives it a different type of look than the beveled edge. So tweak number two, guys, make everything super round. So for this example right here, it's very similar to the last one where the sides are just super round, almost to the point where the shape just kind of looks like a cylinder more than a box, but it's still a box you guys can see if you look closely. The difference between the last one compared to this one though, is that this one, you guys notice that the top is a little bit more narrow, it's smaller, and the bottom, it's a little bit more wide. So tweak number three guys, be able to taper the square, taper the box, taper the cube, and it'll give you a different type of feel to your product. Alrighty, so you guys can see this Sono speaker right here and you guys notice how the sides are rounded just like what we were talking about but they did not round the top and the bottom. So you guys don't have to feel like you have to round everything, you know, have that super soft look. You know, you can totally round the sides, keep the top completely flat with a hard edge. Just another example that you guys can do. And for this example here, essentially just the same thing where they rounded the each corner, but then they left the top completely flat. So this is just the same thing. I wanted to throw it in there, guys, but applied to a flatter object like this projector here. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a cube. It doesn't have to be equal on all sides. It can just be a flat thing, but still apply the same ideas, still apply the same kind of concept onto this box cube shape. So I wanna throw this example in as well. This one here is still going based off of the concepts that we're talking about, which means rounding the edges. But in this case here, you can play around with which corners you actually want rounded. So for this one, they kept the bottom part, the base part rounded inwards, but then the front is flat. It's completely hard edge. But then if we take a look at where the front is more towards the top, you can see that that part, they actually rounded it. And then in the rear, they didn't round the whole back part. They actually kept it straight, a hard edge, but they rounded that top part, uh, the top corner where it, it 
comes up and over on and makes up the top so they really played around with which parts to fill it which parts to round and it just creates a very dynamic looking cube even though it at the end of the day it's just a cube all right, let's move on to the cooler stuff, guys, shall we? So the reason why I'm talking about all these tweaks that you can do on a box or a cube is that the further you go away from the box or the cube, um, I wouldn't want to say it's more like you're a professional, you're more advanced, but if you do it correctly, if you make it look good, if you're able to pull it off, you can really show your skills, show your talents, create shapes that hardly anybody else is making because anybody can design something like a cube or a box like that example that we saw earlier, right? So if we take a look at this one here, the reason why I like this one so much is it's utilizing both that bevel edge and that rounded edge that we're talking about. But remember that bevel edge from earlier? It was a very con uh, it was very consistent uh, bevel. Whereas if we take a look at the front here, we, if we if we look at the more of the top part, you can see that it's a lot larger. That bevel area is much bigger. And then we can follow our eye just a little bit down, and it starts to taper inwards. You know, just changing the look of it, creating more dynamic to the product, to the aesthetic, to the cosmetic of this box, of this cube, you know, cause, cause that's all it is. But a designer designed this. You could totally tell that this person knows exactly what they're doing. Something that you guys for sure need to add into your notes and, and you know, think about this when you are designing your next product. And this one, right, her super simple, just a overall a rectangular elongated cube, right? And what makes this one cool? It has those end caps. Uh, it has those concentric squares on the end caps. And not only that, but they have cut away in it. So that bottom middle piece, it's all totally cut away. On each side, those caps are cut away. And it just creates this open feeling, which also, of course, is functionality of the product where that, that box right there that you guys see it slides back and forth so just another thing cut away at the cube and you're able to create something different something new so this is a more fun kind of example right here so you know when you think of a box you think that it's a little bit more structured and stiff and boxy you know what i'm saying what they have done here was they twisted the box so you don't have to draw or make those lines perfectly vertical you can twist them in a different direction and it just creates more movement in the product just another example another tweak you guys can do so this example is an interesting one. It is essentially just that cube shape with the rounded corners and a flat top. And what makes this box different than another box is that they have bolted extra features, extra parts to the box. And normally that doesn't really work out too well uh, because things look kind of a little bit stuck on, a little bit of um, an afterthought. But I think this example here, they have pulled it off quite well. And so if you, this is something that you guys want to play with, maybe this type of look I would really refer to this example right here if you guys want to, uh, to have a deeper dive on all the examples that I show I list all of the links all of the projects that I show in these videos down in the description just go to those links check out their full presentation there's a lot of work that goes into this guys and you know what it'll be so cool if you guys can leave a comment down at the bottom for them saying you know what awesome project you know I found this through Jimmy's uh, the product designers YouTube channel and I just want to say great job you know it's gonna make them feel super good guys it really is the least we can do because you know they're taking their time out to uh, upload these projects for us to you know enjoy them and maybe even learn for them like this video so go ahead and do that guys after this video so just this one here, I'm gonna go through these ones a little bit quicker. These ones are gonna be a little more detailed where now they're changing up the materials of the cube, you know? And so you guys can see that the top and the bottom there, they're made out of the two kind of clamshell uh, metal parts that come together. And then the center of it is made of wood. So, you know, just playing around with the different parting lines. If you guys don't know anything about parting lines, I have a video all about them similar to this one here. So check that one out. All right, and the Xbox One concept here, where's all my gamers at? You know, I, I talked a little bit of crap about gamers before, but that's really not talking crap about gaming. It's more of people that spend too much time doing things that are not productive, and I mentioned gaming as one of those things, and you know, there's benefits of gaming. You know, I make my living off of designing gaming electronic products, so there, I, I have nothing against gamers. It's really just trying to achieve uh, your goal 
goals. And so let's take a look at this example right here though. Um, you guys can see it's just super simple, boxes, flat boxes. But the difference is between this one is that they've kind of sandwiched them now. Now it looks like two boxes, right? Two squares, two, two, two flat rectangles that are coming together and making up this layered look. So this example is very similar to that Xbox, but now instead of just making the boxes different shapes and different sizes, what they've done is they made them equally the same size, but they've offsetted it. So where it kind of looks like um, two boxes that are merged in in the middle, but then they're slid just a little bit past each other. And just, you know, just another kind of interesting tweak that I've never really seen too much. And this one here is another very interesting concept and interesting tweak to a box. So it almost looks like two boxes that are merging together and it almost looks like it can shut or slide in and out of each other. And I don't think it actually can do that. And so it was just a very kind of play on mechanics that this person did. I'm not too much of a fan, but I appreciate what they actually tried. And this is going to be the last example, guys, finish off with this one. I want to show that this designer here, even though it's a box shape, we can see that it's been tweaked so much where you hardly even see the box, even see the form. There's the layered look where there's that top lid and then the bottom is very curved and it's curved inwards, but not quite completely filleted around and then it has that front lip part. So you guys can see how much they've really tweaked this box shape into a form of its own and this is what I really consider to be advanced design being able to tweak a very geometric shape into your own type of style into your own type of form and make it to where it works make it to where it's beautiful make it to where it looks great and it's really a shape that you have personally come up with on your own all right guys that's about it for this video i really really hoped you learned something if you did definitely hit that thumbs up button also, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of these videos. And also leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want me to cover or talk about for the next video. And uh, also a huge thing, I want you guys to leave comments down below if you guys have any questions about any type of thing with design. Just leave it down in the comments. And if you guys have the answer to these questions that people are asking, please answer it for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And let's just try to create this a community and a discussion area and uh, also again don't forget to go to the links and you know appreciate these people's projects and leave a comment uh, uh, saying how how awesome and amazing and how much you've learned from just watching their projects and that's about it guys this is Jimmy and I will catch you in the next video peace